Hello. Uh, I'm uh, I'm doing a review on um, this uh, tennis key right here from um, Sport Touring uh, Company. Uh, Makes somewhere in California, USA. Okay. This model right here, that's a tennis cue. But uh, all of their models very much the same thing that um, I have encountered many problems and I think um, you know this should they should um, uh, you know make it better uh, improve it okay so the first problem I have encountered is that the tennis ball gets stuck all the time almost every um, every uh, every set that I put the balls in there and they get stuck and then when you're on one side right you turn the machine on and then you go on the other side and then you wait for the balls to um, you know to shoot to your side so you can practice right and then uh, just like very four or five balls and then the machine uh, gets stuck so what you have to do is you have to come over here and turn off the machine and then remove the stuck in ball and then turn it back on and go back there and then uh, do it again or sometimes it's got stuck twice in one batch okay um, so that the very very problem I get stuck all the time okay and that's the first problem the second problem is <clears throat> every time if you hit the tennis ball to one of this flap right here one of this flap it's break it's break at the anchor right here okay so that's the second problem okay third problem is that if the wind when it's wind a little bit the flap fall when you try to put the balls in here the flap fall down and then you know you probably have to put the basket down and then you have to put the flap back up and then refill the you know put the balls back into the machine so that's the third problem and also when the machine running the flap usually fall down and it's, it's kind of slow down the ball movement in here so sometimes you have some ball up here it doesn't uh, get down in here so you have like four or five balls get stuck up here uh, uh you know so you have to kind of turn off the machine and you still have four or five balls in here okay that's the third problem the fourth problem <clears throat> is that when you put balls in here right and then the machine running and what happened is the the spring right here i removed it and i couldn't find it i put it somewhere but anyway what it does, the spring does not does not rotate, so it's just sticking out like that, and it's really wide. You know, it's it's like almost half an inch. So it pushed the ball back. This flap right here, without this, um, without this, it's pushed out here, and the ball just fall down like five or six balls uh, each time that you put in here. Okay, so what I did, okay, to be to prevent it. I put the velcro in here you know um, I couldn't find the one with the glue from uh, from this side so I ha don't have much option so I have to do the inside and I have to anchor it with the ball because otherwise you know the, this, this the glue doesn't matter how strong it is it still peel back in and then um, you know uh, so uh, I have to redo but anyway if you get put velcro in here all you do is this okay you if, if you put the glue on this side and you do it on this side. I have, like I said, I don't have the choice. But after you're done, all you have to do is just fold, instead of inside, from the outside, you fold back in. You have a little uh, piece of this right here. And then you stick it and then you you fold it. And it looks really neat, right? So that's, that's sort of the problem. Okay, so I have to do this to prevent it. And then what this one does, of course, you know, when you put the balls in, the flap don't fall down. So you don't have to uh, deal with the, 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 the problem with like uh, put the basket down, the ball falling out if all, all other places. The second part is help because every time it, you, get, you hit the ball here, you see that flap, it doesn't, this up here will actually stabilize it a little bit so it doesn't go on way to break that anchor. So I'm sure, you know, it's, it's eliminate like at least 30% or more of breaking this. So uh, I suggest the uh, company that what they would do is they put cables in here to embed it inside the line right here, the bottom, to prevent it from breaking because it will 
give it a uh, tensor strength, okay? From the anchor all the way here. But of course, cable is, 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 is flexible, okay? So that prevent that. So here, what I did to, uh, so that will uh, help uh, prevent all the ball falling out, the flap falling in and all that. And I also did, did this. I removed the spring completely. And you see this piece right here, it used to be out here, okay? Like a quarter inch way around it. What I did, I, I take the um, Sharpie, I draw a line here. You can still see a little in, in there, you see that? Okay, I draw the line in here. When it's still long, I take a flyer, I bend it down uh, like maybe around 15, 20 degrees downward, okay? And then I take another another um, Sharpie. I measure from the outer to about quarter inch and I cut it nicely and I smooth it down, okay? So now the balls, the machine stop. Uh, there's not a single ball to get stuck. And I can guarantee you that. So what I did, I have to move uh, step by step, okay? I have to admit, I remove the spring and the, the, the machine ball is less likely to get stuck than with the spring on it. And less likely to have the ball falling out. But this piece right here is still stuck. If, if you have it flat and it's, it's have more chances to get the ball stuck because look at the ball right here, right? It got, it, it got caught somewhere right over here like this and it got stuck, okay? So what I did, I bend it down like uh, about 20 degrees uh, from here, from this line right here, and it's less likely to get stuck, but it's still stuck sometimes, maybe like once in a while, okay? So to me, that's a, that's, that's a, that's a no-no still. So I did one step further that I cut this a quarter inch, okay? A quarter inch from the original piece, okay? So it's no longer get stuck. But I can tell you this, if you remove this completely, that to gonna be when the, the when the machine uh, rotate to here, you have like, maybe a couple balls falling down there. So it should like pop up, and you, of course you don't want that. Okay, so here I got um, uh, sixty balls in the basket, and then ten more balls over here. So the reason for that is if I put sixty balls in here, right, and then sixty ball is not gonna fill up all the way, so it's never stuck at all. The thing is, it's stuck is not enough that from down here because if I put 70 balls up here because of the because of the the, the movement of, of this piece of uh, flaps right here, it's give it uh, like uh, sometimes it's, uh, um, it get the restriction of the ball movement, right? So sometimes down here it's kind of little, it's empty, so you got no ball feeding down, but it you get stuck up here, so that's why. It's, I put 60 balls and I did it like 12 times and not a single one of them got stuck. But if I put like 70 balls, I try like five times and there's only one time that has got some problem with uh, movement up here, okay? But if you you want to wait a little bit and then when the machine move, it gives some a little bit vibration at uh, each time and then the ball actually breaking up and actually fall down into the feeding uh, hole right here and it, it, it work again. But, okay, so I proved my point that I'm gonna fill 60 bones in and I'm gonna just record it like, this is a raw video, okay? So here, of course, you know, uh, I'm gonna put this ball in here. I'm sure the flap not gonna fall down just like the manufacturer that made it. Okay, so just watch. Okay, I'm sorry. But as I'm only by myself here, I got no cameraman. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, now 60 balls, right? See right here? And of course I still have 10 more balls out there. And now I'm gonna turn it on. The reason I'm, I'm, I turn on the feeding right here all the way up so that the machine, you know, feed faster and um, you don't have to, you know, spend extra time watching this video. So after uh, 60 balls, and then, you know, I'm gonna uh, collect all the balls and I'm gonna add 10 more balls up there. That's gonna be 70. Um, 
the good thing about this company is that if the flash got broken you call them and uh, they send you four flaps new flaps for free and um, I also have an uh, encounter with the, the turn on switch um, a couple days ago and I thought uh, I, I went while I was testing so I turned it on and nothing worked so I thought the battery was out so I tried to recharge it and I charge it and I, I turn it on and it's not working so I, I was kind of worried that you know something's wrong with the motor in there so um, I open it up and I test the auxiliary uh, switch it works so I know the battery was good so I was wondering with the, either the motor or the switch so I test the switch and the switch has a problem what I did I, I uh, took the W40 WD40 and I spray on it and I test with the contacts and it's, 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 it's positive so it works so I plug it back in and uh, and it, it works fine and I actually called the company I talked to uh, Jim Miller and he agreed that he sent me a new switch and uh, very nice of him uh, to do that but anyway um, here okay as you can see I'm sure you know a lot of you um, you know like uh, tennis school or high school or any uh, school or you know when you own this machine you know what I'm talking about my friend had this machine uh, the even the better than this but all of their feeding mechanical is the same so they own half problem the same problem unless they do like this to eliminate it but I contact the company and they say oh they don't have enough uh, complaints or they're not they might not uh, uh, change it but as you see that okay you see what I mean there you go okay all right you don't have any stuck at 60 ball right okay now I have to turn it off now so one more thing if you turn the machine off just kind of wait a little bit until you have this over here so you know you don't have uh, the first ball getting uh, like uh, stuck somewhere over here if you own this machine you know what I'm talking about already okay anyway uh, I, I'm gonna have to collect all the balls over there and then I'm gonna come back here I'm gonna do 70 balls and see what happened okay well we have like people uh, I'm from uh, Arlington Texas by the way so uh, okay I, I'm gonna collect them really really fast as fast as I can so you guys uh, don't have to uh, uh, you know point things but I want this video to be raw okay so I'm not gonna cut or add it to it or anything so um, be patient with me please and thank you for watching my video and uh, all I really want is that because I, I play uh, tennis and I have this problem so I just want to have this somehow resolved but I know the company you know I contacted and they say that they don't have um, enough complaints so they're not gonna uh, uh, might not change it but I'm sure if anybody owns this machine knows that you know exactly what happened and you know what this machine is not cheap it's a cost around a thousand dollars okay so if if you ask me would I buy this machine with a thousand dollars with a problem like this I'm gonna say hell no but if the problem fixed like this like what I did I would because you don't have time to go back and forth deal with uh, the problem with like balls getting stuck in there uh, anyway well now I'm gonna put 70 balls okay and uh, all I really wanted I mean I saw a problem for those who already uh, bought a machine already so this is something that you can do uh, but it buying this machine again uh, without uh, having upgraded to like that I'm gonna say no to it I'm gonna say no thanks and I want to tell the, I want to give a word to the company one thing to the company that you know the biggest room in the world is the room for improvement if you don't if you don't think you need to improve your machine I don't think we will appreciate you okay here I'm gonna add 10 more balls for my bag I got it ready here okay so uh, 
what this 10 more balls do, of course, it's, it's, it's adding a little bit more weight, right? It's adding more weight, so you know the the the, the fishing around here sometimes it's it's, it's like uh, it's constrict the movement of the ball. So that's why you know all the ball down on the bottom, in the, um, at the bottom, actually feeding and shoot out, and some of them on top uh, kind of got stuck. And until you know you do a, like a little push or some vibration, and then they fall down. So that's the only problem. But it's never stuck at the the feeding mechanical um, mechanical feeder. Anyway, I'm gonna turn back on so um, so you don't have to spend like a lot of time watching this. Okay, here you go. That's 70 balls in there. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I mean. Hopefully it's not gonna stuck because I did five time um, on this, uh, on the 70 balls and I have only one problem, one time that it's got friction, um, uh, the movement problem, okay? So I'm gonna do raw recording here so you can see what I'm talking about. But hopefully, it's not gonna stuck. If it's move like this, it's not gonna stuck. Okay, you see the balls moving? Okay, you see like some hollow around there? Okay, that's sometimes it's, uh, the problem. Okay, but I think this time it's not gonna have a problem. Okay, so you see that? You see hollow in there? See the, sometimes, you don't see any ball falling out, right? Uh, that's the first thing that it's, it's, it work if you put a, vel a Velcro in here, prevent um, the wall to expand open. Uh, or open the corner and the ball gonna fall out. Okay, you see that right there? Without that uh, Velcro right there, that ball would be like uh, out from the machine already. Okay, you see some color down there? But when it's moved, so it's gonna fall down like that. Yeah, I see some holes, uh, empty hole right there. Okay, but it's, it's, uh... You see some balls stay on the top on the wall right there, like four or five balls of them right there. That's staying still. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so now they're folding down. Okay, there you go. So problem solved. Okay, but it took me like um, at least two weeks, two weeks to uh, to work on it to do uh, to uh, to do some research on this. So um, you know, for those who are only own the machine, you know, all you have to do is just did what I did. You know, remove the spring and then cut this a quarter inch and then you know bend this down like around 15 degrees, something to smooth it up, and then uh, that solved the problem. So less part for the manufacturer, no spring, less of this, and I put adding Vicro here. So that way you don't have to um, uh, keep sending out uh, broken flaps. And then if I bring the machine out here and that ball hit one broken, all I can do is just go home, uh, take the machine home and then, and then call and then wait for them to ship me the brand new four flaps and put it on. So you have to, time to wait and, and uh, very inconvenience, okay? So if the company willing to use my uh, research result right here to use it, all I'm asking right now is that if they would donate me one machine for my, uh, my timely uh, work. And um, I mean, and of course my pride that I, I 
I discover something to make this machine better for everyone to use. In, that's including me and my friends. And, and of course, everybody, you know, school, you know, tennis school or high school, you know, any sport um, um, facility that is using the machine. Uh, well, good luck to you guys. If you guys have any comment or any questions or something, if you have any, any problem with the same machine, please make comment and then I, I'm sure, you know, the uh, the manufacturer uh, uh, folks actually gonna read uh, your comments on this and I appreciate your time for watching. Thank you. Bye